Well, thanks very much for joining us here on the CNBC TV 18 Power Talk special. My guest today is someone who's seen the India market closely for over two decades. He is the president of the global high growth regions at Honeywell. Shane Tejarati, it's a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thank you. you it's, know, it's uh, good to be here. You know, many viewers may not be aware, but Honeywell has had such a long association with India back in the 1930s when you commissioned India's yeah. first oil and gas refinery. Uh, you are an avid aviator, so give us the bird's eye view then, uh, Shane, of, of the Indian economy, because, you've, because as a company you've seen the Indian economy evolve over so many decades now. Yes. Where do you see India today? Yeah. I wasn't here in the 1930s, but, <laughs> but I did come to India in 1972 well, as, a, as, a, uh, as a little kid. So uh, I've been coming here for business for more than a decade, and uh, Honeywell has been here for a long time, especially the past quarter century. Mm -hmm. I would say we've been really, really re-entrenched with the new India. Mm -hmm. um, and in every sector, we're, we're deeply entrenched working uh, with both the public and the private sector. And I have to say, uh, really, uh, the past decade has been especially uh, interesting in terms of transformation of the uh, infrastructure in India, uh, as much as people complain, but mm -hmm. com comparatively, there's, there's no comparison to where it was 10, 15 years ago. Uh, transportation, uh, both air and auto, mm -hmm. um, the uh, refining, petrochemicals, um, and then more importantly, I think the, the whole infrastructure for cities. Uh, you know, the, the, the quality of both residential, but more importantly, the, the commercial buildings, mm -hmm. um, the industrial buildings. Mm -hmm. um, we've had this, uh, you know, smart building index going on for, f for three years now, where we're looking at buildings in terms of being safe and, and efficient and secure and green. And uh, so on all fronts, our business in India has, has grown from one of just being in India for its engineering prowess mm -hmm. for the world mm -hmm. to no India for India and India for the world. And I think the time for that has, has now yeah. come. Let's talk about India numbers now because sure. overall India's contribution to your top line is still about 2%. And we haven't seen that change much. Even 2014 in an interview, yeah. you, know, uh, you know, when we met, you said it was, it was a 2%. And, and, and when we look at your overall group top line as well, that's been also around 38, 40 billion dollars, thereabouts. Yeah. So considering the optimism that you have in India business, why isn't India contributing more? Very good question. Uh, first of all, we had a couple of years where very large businesses that we had in India, they're, they're uh, pretty lumpy and, and, uh, and depends on large capital spend that mm -hmm. co customers uh, do. So even though, like for example, our UOP business, if Reliance is making a huge capital expenditure, which they don't do every year, we're gonna, that business is going to be fairly large that particular year. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. And then the next year, that goes down um, significantly. Uh, but the rest of our businesses have to, uh, have to compensate for yeah. it. So even though we had a couple of years where we had year on year seemingly flat, our other businesses were growing like crazy. They were off the charts. For example, our building energy, energy efficiency, building, safety, security, fire, they were growing off the charts while at the seemingly at the top level, uh, at the aggregate level, it, does, uh, it, show, it didn't it seem shows. like. Okay. But mm -hmm. actually that cycle has also has come back uh, full cycle in. Uh, we will have uh, high double digit growth this year in India. Next year we're planning for similar fairly, uh, fairly uh, high uh, double digit growth. And India, I think in the, in the past year and a half, there's really a renewed enthusiasm, both from the public sector and private sector. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we see that renewed enthusiasm in terms of orders that are coming in from, um, from uh, you know, uh, the private sector, from safety, mm -hmm. security, smart cities. Mm -hmm. We have well over 20 in just MP alone that we've implemented smart cities, mm -hmm. uh, everything from uh, smart, uh, you know, traffic and all that to security and analytics for smart security, facial recognition, crowd control, and so on and so forth. Uh, all of this stuff is really growing well. Another thing, India may be 2%, mm -hmm. but its contribution to growth mm -hmm. is actually double digit. No, in fact, in, in, in fact, you preempted my question, but 
you know, but uh, since you know, you know, you're laying down and and sort of the growth potential of the market, China contributes about five percent. Uh, I mean, where I mean, do you see more headroom for growth for India's contribution to for, go up? For Could it both be? of them, uh, China uh, and India together, they contribute more than thirty percent of our growth. Our growth, yes, which is yeah. phenomenal. In fact, high growth regions contribute way more than fifty percent of our growth. Um, okay. Uh, it's, which is roughly about right. Two thirds of the global growth comes mm -hmm. outside of uh, North America and Western uh, Europe in the world, and that's the same with us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we do that largely because our strategies of in country, for country innovation, uh, manufacturing, you know, end to end owning of the business. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very mature business in India. It's not just 15,000 engineers serving yeah. the world. So then considering the strategic significance of India, you've said in the past that making India an export hub would, you know, was still a distant, uh, it was not part of your immediate plans. That you said about two years ago. Is there an update? Do we, that is definitely there... has changed since. What has, what has what, happened? What has me. changed, I think, I think the focus of the government and the country on make in India, and the improvement in, um, in infrastructure, and improvement in uh, both the soft and the hard infrastructure, mm -hmm. right? Uh, for example, our turbo business, it, it used to be a lot more uh, cumbersome to get, uh, you know, shipments of turbo out of, out of India compared to some of the other countries. That is now uh, really improved significantly. Uh, the whole make in India effort I wanted to make it actually make a point about Make in India. I think we have to be very careful not to use this Make in India, a, an equivalent vernacular to uh, low-end manufacturing Make in India, uh, because the, and it, it will end up that India will get the crumbs off the table, as opposed to being a full-blown manufacturing powerhouse. Okay. And a full-blown manufacturing powerhouse needs marketing, sales, design, engineering, before you even think about just manufacturing. Right. So the supply chain manufacturing is one part of it. Uh, you don't want to be in a situation with the old China where uh, an iPhone is made entirely in China, but less than 1% of iPhone's Valuation. value is in China. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, 90 plus percent of it is in is back in, in, in the home country. So you've said it has changed, uh, you know, since uh, you know since the last discussion we had. So is there an update now in terms yeah, of Yeah, so what we we are I committed know. to much more higher end manufacturing. We're we we're not that excited about very low end just assembly and testing and and, mm -hmm. and all that. And I think India is not is not interested in that either. Mm -hmm. So both in the defense industry as well as in the commercial side, um, because we now have a full capability in yeah. India for design uh, and, uh, and uh, supply chain and manufacturing, end-to-end -end yeah. design, yeah. we would be able to actually offer much more uh, value-added manufacturing out of India. And in India, I'm pushing two things. One we call East for East, mm -hmm. which is in India for India. So the kind of products that you've seen, you know, are air cleaners for India. But then what we're saying, India for the rest of the world, east to rest. So India to Middle East, in India to um, Central Asia, India to Africa, India also to the West. So you're uh, beginning to see that because earlier absolutely. it was, focus was more on east for east, east, east for east. But I think but east now to you're rest the... is coming. So we, we've now clearly said we have two poles in the world for east for east and east to rest. China and India. Mm -hmm. Because the Chinese market is somewhat different, you know, the size of the economy is 5x, GDP per capita is bigger, and so on and so forth. If you normalize it for PPP, it's still 3x bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there is a position for both because China's middle class has already moved yeah. far beyond India's middle class. So what in China we will innovate in middle class may yeah. be actually too expensive for India. Okay. India's mass market is actually much more akin to the mass markets of some of the other emerging economies. Okay. So I want to give India the opportunity to really fill that whole gap of mass market, uh, both for India and for other emerging So you are economies. beginning now to think that, you know, that India... No, we're for... actually executing. You're executing. We, we, we started thinking a, a couple of years ago about it. We're executing in earnest. And I was here, as I mentioned to you, I was in Bangalore mm -hmm. um, uh, yesterday the day before, and we did a whole day's review on this mass market and East for East in India for India, 
uh, with all of our business leaders. Because you've, you know you had coined that term, right? Crest, China, and the rest. Yeah. So it could well be China, India, and the rest. I, Are we, well, have you heard the Bruce thing too? is, the rest used to be small R E S T. Right. Now it might become a capital R R E S T. But okay. naturally, naturally, mm. India is the first major em emerging uh, economy in the rest. Shane Tejarati. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you for taking our time. My pleasure. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.